Greetings, my friends in Christ. Our verse for today comes from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 3, verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Dear friends, the verse we just heard is the part of the long discourse Jesus gave after or during his encounter with Nicodemus. And here Jesus spoke of something that happened in the life of the people of Israel in their journey towards the promised land. As we can see in Numbers 21. At the time, the people started murmuring against God and against Moses. And as a punishment, God sent snake to bite the people. So here we see, there was a cause. The people were murmuring against God. And there was a punishment, the biting of a snake. And the people cried to God, and God commanded Moses to fashion a snake, the same snake and then to hang it upon a tree that whoever is beaten by this snake and he looks up on the snake hung on the tree may be healed. Now Jesus spoke himself of that same method, of that same style, of that same figure of snake that was giving life to the people beaten by the same snake. Dearest friends, Jesus just explained to us his mission the loving care of the Father, who not only wants us not to sin, but provides remedy for us when we fall into sin. We have all been beaten by the same snake, the snake of sin, of mortal sins. But remember the command or the method given to Moses and the people of Israel, they were two. Moses was to do something to fashion a snake. And then the people who were beaten by the snake, they have also a task of making themselves, bringing themselves to look upon the snake. Unless they look upon that snake, there might not be healing for them. Jesus is only the hanging on the cross for us. And he's only there for one thing, for our salvation, for our redemption for our bringing back or taking back to God. He has been crucified and he hangs every day on the cross. The problem is, we who have been beaten by this snake, the evil one, the sin of the flesh, the sin of immorality, the sin of lies, of hatred, of envy, have you been able to bring ourselves to the foot of the cross and look upon Jesus hanging there for our salvation? He may be hanging on the cross, but until we come to the cross and look upon him, there may be no healing for us. This is the very golden moment, the period of Lent. is a wonderful moment that the church presents to us, that we recognize the bites of this snake of sin. I will recognize that someone, Christ, has given himself and is hanging there for salvation. Can you stand before him and look upon him and ask for healing? May God give us that courage to recognize that we have been beaten and to recognize that he has sent remedy for us and the Christ who is our remedy is always there waiting for us. And may God bless and keep us safe. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.